So I'm, I'm taking a look at the Super Eagles list for the friendlies against Mexico and Ecuador. We didn't qualify for the World Cup. So uh, they are trying to compensate us with brilliant friendlies against Mexico and Ecuador who will be at the World Cup and are looking for an African team similar to what they should expect at Qatar. Yeah. The MPFL invitees. Is that good news? Uh, I, I, I don't want to, you know, every time they invite an MPFL player, we go with the, oh, good news. See, professional footballers are professional footballers. Whether you're playing in Europe, or you're playing in Asia, or you're playing in China, you're playing in Nigeria, you're a professional footballer. Okay, the money might not be the same. Even across Europe, the money is not the same. But it's football. So I think Nigeria should depart from this whole idea of every time they invite home this player, oh, is it good news? A coach should be allowed to pick player from anywhere he wants to pick a player. That said, if the home base play, the, the players from the MPFL, I don't want to even use home base, the players from the MPFL, if they get a chance to play, they also need to raise the bar. Last time they went to the US to play against Mexico, it was 4 0. Mexico could have scored 10 if they wanted to score 10 in that game. <laughs> no, honestly speaking, Mexico could have scored 10. From a fan perspective, that might be a disgrace. But then from a footballer perspective and from a coach perspective, I'm going to tell you that that we were even able to keep the scoreline at 4-0 was a good plus for the team because this is a team that I've not trained together. This is a team that lack uh, team chemistry, coercion, and understanding of each other. It's more like gathering mercenaries, low-quality mercenaries to go and do the job of an expert an as a scene or sniper. Yeah. So I think that's one of the things. But if we continue to like rile up friendly matches like this before the qualifiers, it's a good one. Now, it's up to the coach. I don't want the coach to play a Nigerian league player because they're trying to compensate them. They want to score a political point of saying, when I invited local players, I gave them a shot to play. No, but they should, yeah, that's it. They should uh, give them a shot to play because they are good enough. They saw something in training. Uh, their tactics require that XYZ player will make it and then they're not, in, you know, pumping confidence on those players. Tell them how good they are, how wonderful they can be. I think it's fine. I'm not expecting Nigeria to win either of those two games anyway. Yeah. Because our morals are done. Uh, we don't have a substantive coach yet. There's a lot going on in our football. But they should just give a good account of themselves. Someone who, unfortunately, in my opinion, should have made the AFCON squad is back in the national team, Serio Dessas. What's your take on Serio Dessas? So there is actually nothing to discuss about Siri Dessas that have not been discussed before. Siri Dessas is a good player, yes. Uh, to score the number of goals that he scored in the European competition already tells you. Siri Dessas is the reason why Ayas are the champions of uh, the Eredivisie. He stopped uh, Ayas contenders. Yeah. So with his two goals, uh, he's really proven this season that he is the, he's the go-to guy. But having said that, there's one thing that Nigerians are always forgetting. So Redessa is playing in a team that plays to his strength. Exactly. Players that understand him. Exactly. Uh, players that he's got team, team chemistry with, that he's trained with for a very long time. Would he have that kind of training in Nigeria he national team? So everybody that is coming to the Nigeria national team right now are not coming to play for anybody. They are coming to fight for themselves. And in, a, in such a situation, you create a crab mentality where everybody is pulling each other down. Not knowingly, but unknowingly, because everybody wants to impress. A dribbler does not believe that he needs to just receive the ball and pass. He needs to dribble to impress people. The runner needs to run. Everybody wants to impress. So Udessas might not get a good game and everybody will say go back. With also somebody like Amokashi and Pobasi, two people that I don't expect that kind of crap from their mouth, saying that players that are born overseas should not be invited to the national team. I think for me, if I'm sorry, Udessas, I will not honor this call. And not because it's a negative thing. But I'll say, I want to give the Super Eagles time to sort themselves out. There is no big deal. It's your career. You don't want to make a wrong move and be in the news. If it comes in, so let me tell you what happens. So Redes has come for this game and he doesn't perform well. He puts first three foot wrong. Nigerians will say, we're not telling her. It's not good. He's playing against some cheap people in Europe. That's why. That becomes a problem. We've seen a lot of people face that problem before. Ahmed Gabayari, uh, Peter E.J. Uh, Bartolome Gbeche, uh, Richard Owobokiri, Michael Biku, Victor Agali. 
No, even with Agali, you know, he did well. I played well. Went to the, he went to the World Cup. He's, he's a good player, I can say. But having said that, I think that Sinodesa needs to wait till we have a substantive coach, a coach who's bold enough to say, this is the guy that I want in my team. This is the guy that I want to lead my attack. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. But for now, it's touch and go. It's a gamble that might pay well or might not pay well. Don't forget how Nigerians forced Polono at you on Ghana Troll. He yeah. came in, he scored a few goals. But at the same time, in scoring goals, we saw all of his flaws. He's slow. He's a center forward. He's a goal puncher. He doesn't run. He doesn't, doesn't run track run. back. He doesn't help the team. And where's Paul Onuachu today? He was coming to the national team, did him more harm than good. So we have to put all that into context and say, friendly match against two teams that most likely will beat Nigeria. Most likely. In these states that we are in, if we get a draw in any of those two games, it's a miracle. You don't want to go play those games. If for me, I will dodge the game. <laughs> I said I have a very tough season and I need to rest. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, you took the words out of my mouth because yeah, especially when you spoke about like the national team and um, club football, you know, the, what you expect from your club is not what you should get from at, national. At the international level, you know. And uh, people people say so many things about uh, um, how Osimhen doesn't give um, his best. At nah, the that, that's crap. That's crap. Osimhen gives his best every game he plays. Everybody, anybody who's saying that doesn't know football. People see some people just wake up and turn into radio or TV and hear some yeah. people who should not even be on radio or TV. This is not me bragging, but I think I've earned the right to say this. People who shouldn't be on the microphone at all talk some rubbish about footballers and then they bounce on it because they are opportunity to be on a platform that is very loud. Nobody should have any say about Victor Simba. And when I say this, I always lick in his ass. Victor Simba doesn't have the ass that I will lick. He doesn't have Dangote money. He doesn't, no, that's the truth. He doesn't have Dangote money. He doesn't have Jim Bezos money. So, yeah. but, I, I, but we still have to say the truth. Victor Simba is by far the best striker that we have. It's not by accident that people like Juventus, Arsenal, Manchester United, even Chelsea have been mentioned in the frame of Victor Simba. You have to be good for all of those scouts to come and, out and, and report. And, and, Even and, Bayern Munich. Newcastle as well. No, let's leave Newcastle now. Newcastle is not on the Super Eagles level, so let's leave Newcastle. Like, with, their, with their new money. <laughs> they, 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 they've not built a team until they built a team. Yeah. I don't think Osimhen will foolishly want to go to this Newcastle. No, nah, nah, nothing. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.